formula is the first thing you create for your product and that formula needs to add up to 100%. The batch size is the total amount of product you want to make and this is in grams. The recipe is written in grams and you create your recipe after you have created your formula and chose your batch size. Turning a formula into a recipe can be as easy as just changing all of the percentages to grams and that would make a 100 gram batch. And it's easy because you don't need to transfer the formula. Just if you have 7% of something, no, you need seven grams to make a 100 gram batch. Now let's say you want to make a 700 gram batch of this lotion formula that we created together. You could simply just Google what the percentages would be. So for distilled water, we need 62.4%. So we could literally just Google what is 62.4% of 700 and that would be 436.8. It could be that easy just to figure out how much you need of each ingredient. You would obviously just go through and do that with all of the percentages. But if you want to know how to do the math, I'll explain it to you. So we're going to take a look at 62.4% distilled water again. What you're going to want to do is take that decimal point and move it up to spots. So now we have 0 0.624. Then you will multiply that number by your batch size. And in this case, our batch size is 700. So we would do 0 0.624 times 700, and that equals 436.8. So let's do this again with 7% glycerin. Take the decimal, move it up two spaces. Now you have 0 0.07 multiply 0 0.07 by 700, which is our, our batch size, and you get 49. And then of course you just do that for the entire formula. You could also just use a batch size calculator. Wholesale Supplies Plus has one. All you do is just plug in all your percentages, put whatever your batch size is, and there you go. They do everything for you. So you may be wondering, why am I using grams? I've had people reach out to me and they say that they want to use ounces when formulating, but the reason we use grams is because we're working with really small increments of things like 0 0.5 grams, and that would be pretty hard to weigh out accurately in ounces because it'd be such a small measurement. Mainly we're using grams because this is just the universal way that all cosmetic formulators throughout the world formulates. And overall, I personally just prefer using grams. Now the universal way of formulating is also with Celsius and you will see me time and time again use Fahrenheit. I, I want to transfer to using Celsius more often, but I've just used Fahrenheit my entire life. And of course, if you guys wanna see how we came up with this example lotion formula that we've been working with, then go watch my video. I'll have it linked down below. It's titled something like, how to write a lotion formula like the professionals, something like that. So I hope to see you guys in my next video where I show you guys how to make a very simple lotion using this formula that we've been talking about. Don't forget to go over and check me out over on Patreon where I post two bonus videos every single month. So there is so much content that you guys can go binge watch over there just for $5 a month. And for $10 a month, you can get a small business shout out. So let's shout out the small businesses. Nature's Farm Girl, thank you so much. Also, everybody's links will be in the description box. Let's blend, hempygirl.com, thank you. Seventh House and Oak on Etsy, at Black Petal Beauty on Instagram, Owl and Lily on Etsy, Zayalamore.com, I hope I said that right, EmbraceBeautyEssentials.com, at Stardust Bath and Body on Instagram, and that is it. Thank you so much. If you would like a small business shout out, go over to my Patreon.